Hello everyone and welcome back to Wing Chun Wednesday. I'm back with my Sifu Rusty Chan, my teacher. And we're gonna be talking about today a topic I've covered, how to punch faster, but this time we get a little bit more of an expert opinion. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back. So I've touched on it before. We've talked about, you know, returning and how it can be important and everything, but Sifu obviously has a deeper understanding and he taught me anything that I know. So why don't we talk about Sifu? All right, hey, thanks. Thanks for having me again. No problem. Um, with Wing Chun, how we traditionally start when we start teaching people, we teach Song Tao, okay? Now, whether you know Song Tao or not, I mean, obviously I prefer you learn it, but we're just learning to place the hand in position, okay? Ideally, at least as I teach it, and it just, just being relaxed, and it's like I had a little teacup. You know, you ever see the movie where someone portrayed Bruce Lee and Dragon getting these, these tensing breaks the teacup? But imagine I'm, this is my, my great, great, great grandma's teacup, okay? And I'm like, here, you know, here here's that. I'm gonna put it on the shelf, I'm handing it to Phil, like, here, I'm gonna give this to give it to your, your, your mom, okay? Don't break it. So, see how gentle I'm placing it? What the hell does I have to do with punch? <laughs> Punching fast, too. It's this, by practicing slow and being relaxed, you're not using anything but your, your mechanics. They're like gears, they're like sticks and gears, and you're just learning the mechanics and not forcing anything, okay? There's an internal side to it, I don't know, but the main thing is if you practice your techniques very light and placing them there, whatever your style is even, it'll speed you up. Next is, my mindset is, there's different types of blows, just crushing, they're, they're sinking, uh, but what I use, I like, I like call it pulling the trigger, snapping, cracking. Now if I had a, a, a drum, okay, you could take a drumstick and a beginner will mash the drumsticks into the, the head and it's kind of dull. But a good player, especially a jazz, he'll draw the sound out. So when I'm punching, I'm not just there, but I'm, boom, I'm pulling it out, I'm coming in here, crack, and releasing it. So his head rings, or it shatters inside. Uh, there was an old story about Lee and Jan about people were breaking some kind of hard board or something like that, and they, the, some masters in town were uh, breaking them, showing off, and they were making fun of Lee and Jan. Oh, you can't do that, right? And he's just walking by. Oh, loser, you can't do that. So he turned around, he just went up to the, the, the board, but boom, like that, very light. It rolled over and did nothing. And the people are like, oh, you suck, you know? And uh, what happens is, then he's walking away, uh, he goes, oh, why'd you cut it open? They cut it open, it was destroyed inside, but not on the outside. Ugh. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. That's the there are different types of punches, but th that's the type I favor. Um, so one is being relaxed, and two is ringing that bell. Crack, sorry. Mm. But <laughs> I gotta bang when you release, okay? Next is Wing Chun, you have the, the, the spine erect, or a source of our power. You know, it's a stick, basically our stick. We're like a, a stick. A spear stabbing the ground, take a loose sack of potatoes, jam it over. That's so your body's relaxed, but you got that center sticking you. We're taking that stick and we're turning it. We're using our hips like everyone else does, but you think about the, the stick, as, stick as your center. So I'm turning, projecting, snapping it out. So, boom, you get it coming out. And you see, it draws my, if you watch my feet, actually come back, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna do some steps. Oh, yeah. When I'm stepping, you can see it, it draws, my whole body's pulled into this. So with that release, boom, the whole train is coming bang into them, all right? So it's a lot of fun, a lot of power, a lot of speed. Oh, absolutely, yeah, it's really good. And I think, uh, you know, even when he does it, and I talk about this a lot in my videos, it's really hard to see when you You can feel it, and it's just, you feel this really invisible, so like you talk about the internal and stuff, mm. uh, like that gore, right? Yeah. Like you didn't see anything. And right. things just annihilated. So it's, it's that sort of thing where, um, it's so useful for close quarters, like I always talk about, because you can be here mm. and see if you could, you know, break my face from the yeah, distance. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, because it's just, just, I'm just yep. doing all those principles, mm -hmm. principles, but done relaxed. Right, and like you said, if you're sitting there doing a punch, even, you know, compressing it to just that little bit, you can generate crazy power from here to here. Right. You know, it's from being slow and being relaxed and just your body, it's very familiarized with the motion. It's like second nature, right? So, very interesting stuff. And may I add, I, I, please, I keep please. going on and on, 
Look, there are different types of punch. We do do heavy punches, crushing right. punches, singly punches, everything, okay? But this also gives you a counter ability bazillion times faster. Because I'm not mm. just coming back empty handed. So when Phil's punching me, when I come here, see, on my recoil of that motion, everything I'm doing, um, I'm using that, that, it's like a pinball machine. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And it's just, yeah, you can bounce right off each other. And like I talked about in my other video, right? It's not just, you putting that fast punch out there, then what? I'm fast, maybe, but it's like, uh, can you fight though? Probably not. I mean, you can get that, that kind of sucker punch, but what if you're fighting somebody who's big and strong and can't go down yeah. like that, or you know, someone who's hopped up on drugs or something, you're not gonna rely on that one punch. And best thing to do, if you can get away, just get away, as always. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, get out of there. things escalate. Yeah, actually. I won't go there again, but. Uh, thank you so much, Awesome, you're awesome welcome. stuff. It, it's harder to see, is what I'm telling you. So you really have to put that time into it and put that extra mindfulness into it to kind of tap into it. A little bit different between that and the movies. The movies, yes. when we go, and you pose and it's there, okay? Yeah. That's because you want to get the effect and that's an art in itself, okay? Right. The things we do, you can't always see on film because like the way, yeah. you have to be able to feel it and experience it and even feel it in your body. Right, and just remember they told Bruce Lee to slow down in the movies. This is too fast. So right. it doesn't look powerful, it's so fast. Just think about that for a second. And really, like I said in my other video, what is speed? It's velocity, it's power. Mm. So really, people talk, how do you punch harder? Well, it's faster, isn't it? Thank you so much. You're As always. Thank you. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more from Sifu. We're going to shoot a couple other videos. And you guys are the best. Thank you so much. And if you want to join the community, we talk about drawing, gaming, martial arts, all kinds of stuff. And of course, we have awesome guests like Sifu here. So thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.